Japan, South Korea, China, North America. These countries sell some of the best flagship smartphones on the planet. But how do they do when using their charger that comes paired with them in the box in a charging speed test? First up, we have the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II with an 18 watt charging block in the box, and it comes paired with a 4000 mAh battery under the hood. Next up, we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with a 25 watt charging block in the box and a 5000 mAh battery. You do get a 45 watt charger for this, though I'm gonna stick to 25 watts to see what it can do as opposed to the 45 watt charger. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a 30 watt warp charger in the box, and a 4,510 milliamp hour battery. And last but not least, well, kind of the least, the iPhone 11 Pro Max with a 3,969 milliamp hour battery, and it comes paired with an 18 watt charger in the box as well as the Sony did. Guys, these are incredible smartphones. I cannot wait to share this test with you. This is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start here by obviously tapping on the timer over there and plugging all the phones in. We have the time interval at the top left corner over there. The actual phone keeping the time is on the left of the screen. And at the bottom of the brandings of each phone, we do have the percentage, which is in relation to that time interval. We have disabled all charging optimizations on all devices, as I just showed you guys there. And after the 10 minute interval, we have 10% on the Xperia 1 Mark II, 10% on the S20 Ultra, 13% on the iPhone. And the leader here is the OnePlus 8 Pro with 18% after just 10 minutes. After 15 minutes, we have 17% on the Sony, 20% on the Samsung, 24% on the 8 Pro, still leading the pack. And just behind that, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 18 watt charging, 22% after 15 minutes. Very impressive there. After 20 minutes, we have 24% on the Sony now falling behind the 29% on the Samsung, 31% on the OnePlus, and 29% on the iPhone. The iPhone is really catching up to the OnePlus here, even though it has a much faster charging wattage. Moving on to that 30 minute mark now, this is what most people will have time to charge their phone to, 39% on the Sony, 47, almost 50% on the Samsung now leading the pack, 44% on the OnePlus and 44% as well on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Most people will only have 30 minutes to juice up their phone. So when it comes to fast charging, that's what really matters. I'll get to milliamp hours in the first 30 minutes of the test a little bit later on, as well as milliamp hours per minute throughout the entire test. After 45 minutes, we have 59% on the Sony, 71% still leading the pack on the S20 Ultra, 64% on the OnePlus 8 Pro and 67% on the 11 Pro Max, which is actually doing better than the OnePlus 8 Pro. The OnePlus has really slowed down these last few minutes of the year, but let's see how long it takes to get to 100. We're closing in on that one hour time interval now, and after we hit it, we have 73% on the Sony, 90% still leading the pack, the S20 Ultra, 83% now beating the iPhone, the OnePlus 8 Pro, and 80%. The iPhone is known to slow down after 80%, but nevertheless, 80% after one hour over here. Let's see how long it takes to do that 20%. After just one hour, closing in there, one hour and 15 minutes, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra knocks out with 100% after an hour and 15 minutes. Not their best, the best result that I've seen on the S20 Ultra was an hour and one minute, but that was with the 45 watt charging block. Though I have got an hour and 11 minutes with the same 45 watt charging block, so not much of a difference over there. 1.3% per minute and 67 milliamp hours per minute there. Not long after that, the OnePlus 8 Pro knocks out at one hour and 22 minutes there. Very impressive, not the most impressive. We have seen OnePlus on my channel get an hour and nine minutes. So it has dropped the ball a little bit here, but 1.2% per minute, 55 milliamp hours per minute over there. 37.6 degrees Celsius. So it is a lot hotter than that of the Samsung and it is doing less milliamp hours per minute here too. So we're reaching the one hour and 45 minute mark and we have 90% on the Sony as opposed to 94% on the 11 Pro Max, which is actually beating it after the one hour 30 minute mark. But after one hour 45, 97% on the Sony and 97% on the 11 Pro Max. The 11 Pro Max is definitely slowing down its charging speed quite a bit. I have turned off charging optimizations on both devices and they do have very similar sized batteries and very similar sized wattage, which is 18 watts, exactly the same. But the Sony comes in first there, hour and 54 minutes not the best i regard under two hours as kind of fast charging under an hour extremely fast charging most phones these days can do it in 30 minutes most chinese phones anyway 100 percent for the iphone 11 pro max after an hour and 58 minutes really not bad considering its previous test that i did did it in almost an hour later but i did have optimizations turn on interesting thing here in the first 30 minutes the sony xperia 1 mark 2 actually did the worst milliamp hour per minute 52 over there as opposed to the 58 on the iphone 11 pro max and the samsung did a lot better in its first 30 minutes than its overall total with 78 and the same can be said with the oneplus with 66 milliamp hours per minute as opposed to overall 55. 
Fourth place, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max with one hour and 58 minutes with its 18 watt charging block and 3,969 milliamp hour battery. It can go up to 21 watt charging if you get a PD block. The same can be said with the Sony, but it can only do so in the middle of the charging. It doesn't actually affect the outcome of the score. But third place, the Sony with an hour and 54 minutes over there. Second place, the OnePlus 8 Pro with an hour and 22 minutes, 30 watt warp charging. We have seen the OnePlus get better results in the past with its 4,510 milliamp hour battery and warp charging. First place king over here is the South Korean giant company Samsung with its S20 Ultra one hour and 15 minutes not the fastest I've seen from the S20 Ultra 25 watt charging block still pretty great now if they were all the same battery at 4000 milliamp hours the Sony would stay the same the iPhone would add a minute over there since it's almost 4000 the Samsung would lose 15 minutes and the OnePlus 8 Pro would lose 10 minutes over there obviously because they have bigger batteries than 4000 milliamps I have not tested the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 2 before this is the first time but as for the S20 Ultra, its best result was one hour and one minute using the 45 watt charging block. So it was 14 minutes slower this time around with the 25 watt block, but I have gotten a result of an hour and 11 minutes with the 45 watt block. So in that case, it's only four minutes slower than that. So if I were you, stick to the 25 watt block that comes in the box. As for the OnePlus, an hour and 22 minutes this test, but 13 minutes slower than the previous one. Its best result on my channel got an hour and nine minutes there. And the iPhone 11 Pro Max is best result was two hours and two minutes so it actually improved by four minutes over there really great job us giants apple for getting that one right but nevertheless it is still the slowest of the bunch here guys i hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as i did making it this is technic and i'll see you in the next one